We're celebrating my great aunt's 100th year anniversary of her getting her international pilot license. Uh, she received her license two years before Amelia Earhart. She's the first woman to get an international pilot license. She's the first black woman to fly in America. It really brought tears to my eyes to realize what Bessie really did. You know, I tell her story throughout the whole world, and, but to actually be in the cockpit and fly in the air in a biplane, it's, I'm speechless. I can't even describe the feeling, but I will say I understand what she meant about freedom. When I was up there in the sky, I did feel freedom. I felt peace. It was just, it was like you were in heaven. You know, I sit down, I wrote the script, the high kind of wanted. I remember some of the things my mother told me and my, about my uh, great aunt and my grandmother and listening to them talk. And, and I tried to put that all in perspective. And I said, how could I get this story across, not just to young people, but to older people too, to make it entertaining. Anybody can sit and lecture and talk, but to really become Bessie. So then I went out and I got vintage clothes and I uh, just started telling a story. You can connect to people better, get an inner involvement with people in the audience and having them touch you and see things that are historical, like her medal and things of that nature. By me keeping on Bessie's legacy alive, it makes you want to encourage people to follow their dreams, not just in aviation, but whatever you want to do in life. It doesn't matter what it is, but aviation is such a wonderful field to go into.